I have another message to add to this right here, part three. I don't know who the spirit is trying to confirm this for. Um, but when these messages are repetitive, I repeat them because it's somebody who needs this message right now in their life. Somebody here took a lick. This is a person here who thought they were going to um, level up by being with someone else. For some of you all here, there's a race component here. Somebody who could be a different race, different nationality. Somebody here thought they were going to have exposure. The other person um, was going to give them more. They would accumulate, accomplish, or become more with someone else because of their race. This is also a person here that... Um, they were not only a player to you, they were a player to this person as well. It's more than just uh, this person getting negative karma back from the person they ghosted you for, but they, they ghosted you for a person that was that's just like them. Just like them. It could be very much identical. And this is somebody here, I'm going to be honest. For some of you all, this could be that situation where people thought you were going to be their... um. That flunky energy, the person like you, you wouldn't find out, but they, they wanted to get a level up, but what they got was level, they leveled down, they got toxicity. And if this is, a, you know, I, I don't know if it's, I'm not just going to say people of different cultures, people that's just into voodoo are just into that stuff, but somebody here was into voodoo. Your person is gullible. You need to make them, they are, they are gullible. They are a liar. They are dishonest to their core and they are highly manipulative. That's why they had to get this back. It was energy being cycled right back around them because what I saw was a two-headed monster. Somebody here has a Leviathan spirit. Now, if it's not your person that's narcissistic, then it can be a person that they were with. But they had to get this lesson. It's something, and it's something they put out the way they did it to you. The scales had to be balanced by them being a sacrifice of their own. And the whole race thing, status, money, it could have even been power. What else do they need to know about the situation here? What does they need to know? What's, what's, what does they need to know from the King of Pentacles um, inverted? A person may not be broke, but something became an expense to them. A person, a situation. Um, I keep seeing like uh, biracial relationships. It was race. They ghosted you thinking they were going to level up with someone that was of a, of a different race. It was never about love. They didn't just make an irrational decision. They made something. They they had they, they for some of you all, they could have had no feeling like they could have had no love, but because of what they thought it was going to get them, the star card, success, popularity, fame, status. They they do anything for clout. This person was clout chasing. Ghosted you to clout chase another race and ended up at the tennis wars. What's the King of Pentacles in verse? See here what I told you. Yep. The chariot card, the ten of wands, the ten of cups, and this um and the strength card. Somebody here was trying to manage this, manage a different lifestyle or accumulate a certain lifestyle. This is a person, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be straight out the dick honest tonight. Somebody here has some sort of bad health. Could it be sexual bad health? It's possible, but making a, making an emotional choice gave them more problems than what it did peace. And your person is highly controlled. There is an eerie energy of like voodoo. Um I forget the difference between voodoo, hoodoo, but it's more than just that love me spell. It's that control me spell. See this emperor here? And this is somebody here, your person was dealing with. This was sex magic. They had sex magic done on them <laughs> because they're gullible, though. And you may not know that. See, a person may come off as if they're strong to you, but they're not. This person right here is weak as hell, and they're weak for sex. They could be weak. They could have been under the influence. They had. They could also could have had an addiction or an addictive mindset to this person, to the situation, to this opportunity. The person could have came off as if they were, you know, gullible, and your person thought they were they they that they could control this other individual. But it was all a facade. It was all a facade. It was all a front, fake. 
This is a person right here. They are always into fake energy around fake people more than likely. That's why they can't recognize stuff. And see here, all they thought was, yeah, this is going to happen real fast. I'm going to turn into the king of pentacles. I'm going to level up. But see what it did to them? It put them at the two of pentacles juggling back and forth. And this is a person right here. I heard that guy from off of uh, that movie, Life, can't get right. That's why their life can't get right. They're miserable. Because the manipulator, they thought they were to you. They went into a deal, a deed, a relationship, a marriage. They went into a cycle of manipulation. That's all this is. Clarify this 10 of Wands. What's the important message about this 10 of Wands? And see, it became hard. I don't know, I don't know, you know, if this was like um like a you know how people create businesses, ideas, or something like that with the Emperor card, the Ace of Wands. Um, it's something this person saw as an opportunity, some sort of venture. They took a relationship as a project. So this could be a person, your person probably thought they was manipulating this other person as well, but this other person was into into some shit. Like, I keep hearing that voodoo, hoodoo, and I keep seeing that uh, scene from um, Mark for Death where that man put that cigar in his mouth backwards and blew on it. This person was Mark for Death and didn't even know it. I think I did say in the first reading about death spells. This person was Mark for Death, but this is their own doing. What do they need, what do they need to know about the Ten of Wands? Whoever you are, the Spirit wants you to know this. And I'm not going to lie, I keep seeing that cup. Yep, look here. The Ten of Wands. <laughs> what they thought they was going to get, they got problems. Now, the World card is a person. This person had had someone. Somebody here is in a different city, different state. And, and this could be like a group effort. It's something this person... See, they was blocking you the entire time because now they have regrets. Because their, their destiny is off. Their fortune is off. Their life is offset. They've offset their life connecting to this Queen of Wands. But it's not just this, this Queen of Wands. Because, see, this Queen of Wands is working with other people against your individual. But your person couldn't see that. What's the three of pentacles here? Darn. Look at here. The ten of pentacles inverted. Somebody here could be going bankrupt. This could also be someone here. Their reputation could be completely um, demolished or in the process of being demolished. This is a great loss. The lover's card inverted. They didn't do it for love. The eight of cups. This is a person right here that has some sense of ownership of your person. The, the hangman inverted and the high priestess. See, whatever they did is something. It could be something illegal for some of you all. Others of you all, I keep hearing a lot about morals and immorals. They didn't have, they didn't use morals, values, character, integrity. And I keep hearing they do anything for clout. They do anything for clout. They did this for clout. They did this for 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 it success success for the love of money. People will rob their own brother. They'll kill their own sister. They could have sacrificed a family member trying to get ahead, trying to level up. This reminds me of this guy I know, a new uh guy with this younger individual she was of a different race but he talked he spoke so ill about black people but his punk ass black so everything may not always be about death this is a sellout is what the hell this is this person is a sellout the nine of swords they're thinking about everything they did because they are a sellout that's it this is this ain't nothing being long they have regrets because something didn't come full circle how they thought. They thought they were going to have the world card can show you happiness and success as well. But what they got is a cycle of like bankrupts. This could be spiritually being bankrupt, financially being bankrupt. Their tangible things are being depleted. You know, it's like foxholes cutting their pocket. They hell they losing. The canker worm is in their life. They got a spiritual canker worm. See right here, they are rejected now. They are shunned. And if they are, if they have a reprobate mind, God don't even listen to this person. This person right here was more than double minded. They have a rep somebody has a reprobate mind. They thought they were above God, above you know being judged by the Lord, by the universe. And this could be somebody could have something on this person, and you know want to reveal how shysty they are. Could be their family want to let you know how shysty their ass is. 
Somebody here was doing this shit. The chick kisses a uh, ass kisser. That's all the hell this is. A uh, ass kisser for, to another race. Ascended. Trying to expand. The person thought they were too smart. They disconnected to the Holy Spirit. And so this, this is where somebody here just started listening to all spirits. Strange voices. The voice of a stranger we shall not follow. But that's not what they did. So your person thought they was going to get a fresh start. Yeah, they got a fresh start. The hell look like. But they keep giving me that sound. They do anything for clout. Look at here. There's the deceptive person. Very deceiving. That wants you to compromise. This person has problems, but some of you all, this person has a curse because they knew from the from the giddy up they shouldn't have done it. It was all about a hustle, like one upping someone, leveling up, but they use someone or something as a stepping stool. They could be journaling right now, right now, writing things down, like reassessing. Because for some of you guys, people want to get back with you or come back around you or something like that. And this is somebody they could have thought that you were going to chase them for the rest of your life. But you need to know you got an ass kisser. This person was kissing somebody's ass of a different race. So whatever your personal race is and who, who, you know, whatever. I don't know. There's something different here about some race, honey. Like these fucked up people thinking people because they got money and different race and nationalities, they ask better. Flunkies. What the fuck this is a flunky? Um, Pisces. Gemini is here twice. Pisces is here twice. And um, Aries. Since Pisces and Gemini is here twice, I'm going to um, shake this again. Person's a flunky. They ghosted you. Ghosted you. Thinking they were leveling up. Goes to you for another race because they thought they were going to get ahead and their ass got behind, further behind. They may not be broke, but it's like something they keep showing me an expense. I see a cash register, like somebody is constantly scanning, scanning. So something is a cost to this person. It costs them. This could have cost them a lot with the Ten of Pentacles inverted. They could have sacrificed their family. And family does not mean a person was married. It could be family they grew up with. Thinking they ass then forgot where the hell they come from. And the punk ass thought they was better. Or thought this other race was better. And that mofo then shit they ass. You got Libra. Um, Sag, Virgo, Aquarius, and uh, Aquarius. Peace and blessing, great. It's a damn flunky. Namaste.